So I tuned into a little bit of the Detroit Mercy 83-73 win over Robert Morris. Robert Morris playing in their first season in the Horizon League Conference behind a Horizon League Conference tournament record 46 points from Antoine Davis. You know, I talked about this in last week's pod. You know, I thought, you know, for me, my prediction to win the Horizon League tournament was the number one seed, Cleveland State, who I've watched play a number of times this year. It's a really good basketball team. You know, that's a team I think, if they do get into the tournament, can win a game or two. They're, they're pretty good. They're sneaky good. And so I think Cleveland State, you know, the clear-cut winner to win the Horizon League. But my underdog pick was Detroit Mercy. You know, Detroit Mercy, a five seed. And I thought, well, you got Antoine Davis, who heading into this game was the number three scorer in college basketball. And... With 46 points, that's got to definitely put him in the conversation for number one overall. But uh, just absolutely electric. So he was 16 for 26 from the field, which included the Horizon League record 10 three-pointers. on So 10 of 16 from three. He just absolutely shot the lights out. And that's what, once you get to conference tournament and NCAA tournament, you know, coaches stop forgetting about, hey, let's spread the ball around. Let's get everybody involved. Stop that. Whoever your best player is, especially on a team like Detroit Mercy. Now, of course, Antoine's father, Mike Davis, the head coach. We'll talk about him in, in just a minute. But Mike obviously just decided, you know what, I'm handing the keys over to Junior. He's going to toss up just about every shot imaginable unless someone is completely wide open. They went with it, and the philosophy worked. So 46 points. I mean, it, just an absolutely astonishing, uh, you know, NCAA postseason appearance. And so hopefully that'll give Detroit Mercy some momentum as they try to advance through the conference tournament. So Antoine Davis, he is a three-time first-team All-Horizon team. He's 22 years old. Uh, he was the Horizon League Freshman of the Year in 2019. So I remember, you know, I, I've talked to Mike Davis a couple times in the past, going back to, I think, 2016 was the first time I spoke to him um, when he was the head coach at Texas Southern, and he was just waking up from a nap. And this was like midday, and I was like, well, what are you doing just waking up from a nap at like noon? He says, oh, well, before high school, this is when his son was in high school, and he was coaching Texas Southern. They would be have practice at 6 a.m. every morning. He says, well, we got to get our three, 400 shots in every morning, him and his son, and pretty impressive. And so coming out of high school, I think he was like a three-star recruit. He was pretty heavily recruited. Obviously, his son, a head coach that can shoot the lights out. And, you know, he played his high school ball in the Houston area. So, you know, you're going to get noticed in that neck of the woods, in AAU, down in that neck of the woods. But uh, originally committed to Houston, uh, even though at the time his father was the head coach at Texas Southern, which is in the Houston area. Um, and then when Mike Davis got the Detroit Mercy job, he, Antoine flipped his commitment and decided to join Pops in Detroit Mercy. So obviously, you know, this guy's a little bit, you know, you see what Houston is right now. Houston has been a top five team um, all season, you know, under Calvin Sampson, but, um, you know, they're all whatever. I mean, Houston playing the American Conference, so not considered a mid-major, but um, you can see Antoine definitely maybe a class above some of the competition in the Horizon League and 46 points on full display last night. Unbelievable. So for those that aren't familiar with Mike Davis, you know, pretty legendary guy, you know, best known for his time as the head coach uh, for the Indiana Hoosiers. You know, he succeeded Bobby Knight, which is Obviously an unenviable task, but Mike Davis played his college basketball for the Alabama Crimson Tide from 1979 to 83. You know, worked, played at like, or was an assistant at like Miles College, some of these smaller schools, JUCOs, whatever. And then finally got a, his big break by becoming an assistant at Alabama from 95 to 97. He then became an assistant at Indiana from 97 to 2000. And then when Bobby Knight was fired, he took over the head coaching job from 2000 to 2006, which included taking Indiana to the national championship game in 2002, where they lost to a really good Maryland team led by Juan Dixon, who is now the head coach at Coppin State. There's connections all over the place. So once uh, Mike was fired by Indiana, he became the head coach at UAB from 2006 to 2012, then took over the head coaching job at Texas Southern for 2012 to 2018, and then has been at Detroit Mercy from 2018. So it's funny, you know, when he was at Texas Southern, I covered him quite a bit, and uh, they used to book the craziest uh, non-conference schedule ever, ever. So he would go schedule like Louisville, Duke, North Carolina, knowing full well they were going to get whacked. And so, you know, Texas Southern plays in the swag, and, you know, they would enter conference 
uh, schedule, like 0-16. And, and you would think, oh, my God, this is a terrible team. And then they would go, like, you know, whatever, 12-1 and in conference or 12-2. and they just run through the swack and then got himself to the NCAA tournament a couple times. But uh, Mike Davis, you know, that's a guy that you wonder, why hasn't he been in the mix for other – uh, you know, better coaching jobs than what Detroit Mercy is. Now, obviously, I think, you know, he's probably going to stay put while his son's there. But you got to think once his son leaves, why isn't a guy with this kind of resume in, in the mix for bigger and better jobs? And so, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens going ahead. But, um, yeah, keep an eye on that. Just great to see postseason hoops in the Horizon League. So, also, I 